Hello everyone and welcome to another session with AJ Labs. In this video we're going to look at installing the VMware Workstation Pro and getting that uh, set up on your Windows computer. Now we are specifically going to be looking at Windows on this occasion. Hopefully I'll do another uh, another video on the VMware Fusion which is for the Mac OS. But uh, in this video, as I haven't done one in a while on VMware Workstation Pro, I thought I'd let you uh, virtualization enthusiasts take a look at how we install and set up VMware Workstation Pro in terms of the latest version and in particular with the recent good news um, where VMware Workstation Pro has been given uh, for free now by uh, no longer VMware but Broadcom the owner so uh, without further ado uh, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to launch our browser and then we're going to do a quick search for VMware Workstation Pro download just quickly do that and then we'll press enter once you get your search results what we'll do is we'll click on this one here that says uh, the desktop hypervisor solutions because we want to download the desktop hypervisor so we'll click on this link here that should take us to the VMware page now bear in mind while VMware still exists the product itself is now owned by Broadcom so You'll see what I mean in a minute. We'll click on, we get two options. So one for the Mac, which I'll do a video at some point on, and then you've got the one for the PC. So click on the one for the Mac, I'm sorry, the PC. And here we are presented at the Broadcom um, login page. Now, I'm gonna quickly log into this. If you're not logged in, you wanna basically try and get yourself signed up. You can sign up by clicking on the uh, login icon at the top or the login menu just here and then if you've got an account obviously you can log in but if you don't you can just click on register and that will take you to the registration page once you've registered and you've set yourself up then you'll be able to log in and download the product but let me just log in and uh, we'll carry on from there okay so we've logged in and we're presented with a whole heap of uh, products that are available to download we're not interested in any of this so you click on the search menu at the top here where it says product name, type in workstation or just work and you should get all the products that begin with work. You've got the workstation player and you've got VMware Workstation Pro. So I'll click on the VMware Workstation Pro and I am then presented with a number of options. So I've got the Windows version and the Linux version. So I am, in fact the last video I did was on VMware Workstation Pro 15. I'm now going to click on version 17 which is the one that we want to download click on that select the latest version or the latest release once you've clicked on the terms and conditions and you agree to them you can then click on the little cloud icon to download your product so let's click on that and that's just downloading for me there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the download location so if, if yours downloads your download folder, then we're gonna run it from there. If you've saved it to your desktop, then just run it from there. Wherever you've saved it, just hopefully we'll launch it from that location. And then we'll get the installation going and uh, finish off the installation. My download is complete. I'll just minimize the browser. And I've downloaded mine to my desktop. So I'll just double click on that here. I do have VMware Workstation version 15 actually installed on mine so it's going to be an upgrade I'm not going to uninstall mine if it does ask me to uninstall it I'll let it do it otherwise um, it should just install over it and up upgrade the uh, upgrade the whole uh, application by removing the old one and installing the new one so I'll just run this click on yes we get the setup wizard let's just uh, wait for that to launch and we click on next we accept the license agreement and click on next keep the default settings here and just click on next now I'd recommend keeping the uh, check for products updates on startup and uh, that one tick but you don't need to join the customer experience so I'll remove that if you want to keep it tick that's fine click on next next and mine is going to give me an upgrade as you can see as I said I've got version 15 but for you it should say install so I'm going to say upgrade and the reason we uh, selected the updates or the checking of the updates uh, to be kept on that checkbox is because it's free now you're not gonna have to pay for it so happy days no need to worry about 
downloading and buying a new license for the latest one the caveat is it is only for personal use so if you are going to be using this for professional use or corporate use then you will need to obtain a license okay so it looks like it's complete so I'll click on finish it's asking me to restart my computer I'll say no for now because I'm recording a video obviously and then I will restart the machine and we'll carry on from there so I've just rebooted the machine the application is installed let's quickly launch it and just give it a quick run through so fantastic mine is still the same so I've still got my virtual machines because it's just done an upgrade for me and in order to check that it's on the latest version I'll go to help and then about VMware workstation and as you can see I've got VMware workstation pro and it is version 17 now one thing to highlight for you is when you install it and you launch it I think it should ask you for whether you're using it using it whether you're using it commercially or for personal use do remember to click personal use or select personal use because that's what's going to allow you to have that free license otherwise you're going to have to purchase a license for the software so that is pretty much it um, hopefully I'll do a longer video uh, on uh, setting up VMware workstation I've actually got one which I'll link um, in the video where you can actually watch me setting it up in terms of networking and preparing it for a lab um, but I may do one with Workstation 17 um, but if you do want to see my other videos on VMware Workstation do check uh, out my channel and you should see um, the other one in which I set up the virtual lab using VMware Workstation Pro I think version 15 it was but yeah I hope that that has been uh, informative and happy uh, virtualizing enjoy your virtualization your labs and I'll see you in the next video